I must have a pretty cool story about this shipwreck. Uh, I might just like <laughs> the treasure that we find here, which is like the mud crab. <laughs> uh, and there's fish on the like. Oh, one right there, Ooh. dude! Get crab it. for lunch, crab for dinner. North Stradbroke Island, or Minjeriba, an Aboriginal name given to the island well before colonisation, is a beautiful island just off the coast of Queensland's capital city, Brisbane. A short ferry ride will get you across to this holiday paradise, where there is plenty of accommodation, plenty of restaurants for whining and dining, plenty of beautiful white sandy beaches with turquoise water, surf, fishing for days on end, and amazing ecosystems nurturing an abundance of wildlife. But there's a side to the island that not everyone gets to see. An ancient side. A spiritual side. There are people on this island whose ancestors have been connected to this land for thousands of years. And that's why I'm here. Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode. So I've been out of camp there and I've just had a message from Nikki saying, I thought we're going out at like lunchtime on the low tide, uh, saying we're going spearing at 9.30, you're coming. And uh, so I've just jumped in the car, packed down camp real quick and I'm shooting across to the other side of the island. Day two. Yeah. How many flathead are you going to get today? I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. What about you Sarah, do you reckon you'll get one? Yeah. We're gonna work this high tide, hey? Yeah. Then maybe go for a walk later on low tide. Alright, we're back out in the water today. In the boat, we're chasing flathead on this higher tide. We've got Dale here, the skipper, in the Wild Reacher shirt. Marky with a spear, young Cyrus at the front, and Nikki's with us today, too. What are you looking for, Nikki? Flathead. Flathead? Yeah. So Dale caught too many yesterday, so he's been put on skipper duty today. Mark's going to show us how it's done. So rather than spotting the fish and throwing the spear like you would traditionally, Mark's practice is to get the boat up onto these flats just as the tide allows you to, and drift across them until he spots the distinct pattern of a flathead half buried in the sand. He then drifts across the top and thrusts the spear down into it. I probably shouldn't say throw the spear traditionally. Although Aboriginal people around Australia have been throwing spears by hand and using a woomera for for thousands of years. It's highly likely that Mark's ancestors may have used this practice that Mark is using today in their dugout canoes while drifting stealthily across these flats. Grab him. Good job, mate. Bass. Oh, look at the colour of it. That's a good one, buddy. Good spotting, Nikki. That was impressive, mate. I just stood there for an hour trying to get one. I couldn't get one. Well, Dale got what four. What? <laughs> it's hard to get your eye in to actually see what you're looking for. That's my excuse anyway. So what are we taking? You got a hook? Just that. I got 
a little hook for the um, trees, the, the hollow trees, trees yeah. up under mean? the trees. Oh, for Marty. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> Wildling. Um, and you... then those for the hole. The big but that one. was quite thick. I don't know where the narrow one is. That one's going to be yeah. stressful. Oh, you got this one too. And I got the shoes to go out and get quampies because it's amongst all the other broken shells and oyster shells. Oh, so there you were, I'm going to cut my feet up? Yeah. Cool. We'll get and a couple. Make nef necklaces for them. Yeah. And then um, oh, I might be able to take a couple home for the kids. The mangroves can walk through. For I more. get lazy. I just think and just I just the mud pads. If you like, I always find my mud crabs in the holes here. Yeah. In the puddles. Well, that sounds easy. Easy, too easy. Let's look for those ones. So, I was saying to your dad, it's really like going out there hunting this morning for a flathead. It's so different to get, like it's one thing to finally get my eye dialed in to throw a spear, look for fish that way, yeah. or like chasing barramundi, and then this is just a whole new thing. Yeah. Like I kept missing them and Dale's there behind me nailing them. I didn't even see them. <laughs> Cheeky and bugger. Quick, eh? yeah. yeah. And then like that's from a boat, so on the paddleboards or the kayaks when we used to go out, you'd have to look like, you know how we're gliding with the boat? Yeah. You'd literally have to glide with the paddleboard or kayak, get right up under it and just bang. Yeah. So it's, so it's hard to, you have to put your paddle down. Yeah, you got to put your paddle down. Yeah, yeah. And then not make noise too, where so yeah. I made that one little noise and it shut off. Yeah. One day I was um, doing the kayaking with um, Hop and some other people. He told me to go at the back, he told me to work at the back and I was falling behind. <laughs> and then, um, I was the last one to go into my water, at like the mouth of my water, and um, I saw this massive um, flathead. And I started so turning around, but when I looked down again, it was gone. All oh, right. Yeah, you really got to get it on that first pass through, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, I was really impressed, mate, that you got four or five flathead and I got none. Yeah, and that was a good lunch. Mud crab, flathead. Yeah, what else do we have? Yeah. Some crumb turtle. You guys have got a good life over here, I reckon. <laughs> so, we're going out to the shipwrecks? Yeah. What, one there? So we're going to that shipwreck and that one, yeah? Not the second one, just that first one. Oh, okay. But we'll try to get some more shells, boy. Yeah. To make necklaces too. Yeah. Quampy shell? Yeah. So you think we'll see some? Yeah, yeah, we'll get some. And we're going to get some quampy, the actual shell with the meat in it? Yeah. Okay, that's a guarantee. Yep. guarantee. So I've never had quampy. Never. Looks delicious, hey? Boy, on this side. Uh, don't walk through that boy. You get crowded. Oh, that's why. Like the murky water. Ah. And I, like that day that we seen that turtle, was like, let me jump in. I'm like, no, I yeah. can't go into your safety. Yeah, yeah okay. So, no. Okay. So. That's a good spot for him. Yeah, so where that gap is, there's a couple of holes there that we'll check. Okay. Tucked in underneath, eh? Yeah. When I literally stick out, you'll just see it and you'll scoop back in. Little one. You can check some boys your hook. Oh, that's a good hole. Just watch that water, I'll stand in the water. Don't go right under that, it's too dangerous, yeah? Check that, check that one, that's the one. Check on that. <laughs> like when, like, at Junior's age, he's a good age. Yeah? Uh, okay. Um, with the shipwreck, this end of it, dangerous, so we just won't go any further that way, just because I can't, hey, one day it could The crop break. could be there. Oh, I see. Stop. But like, it you could know, fall. over time it's going to deteriorate and yeah. fall. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Okay. Always being mindful of how healthy it looks, I suppose. Like. Yeah. So all the years <clears throat> guiding around here, you must have a pretty cool story about the shipwreck. 
Uh, I might just like <laughs> the treasure that we find here, which is like the mud crab. <laughs> uh, and there's fish on the like. Oh, one right there, Ooh. dude. Get it with your spear. Yes. Oh, don't muck around. Just Deliver. go spirit straight away. Go back. Go spirit straight away. It's gonna go under. Yes. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. See. Look nice. Pass off. Keep it that way. Keep it that way. Yeah, buddy. See. Look at that maroon in it. Oh. He's Boy, such a he different colour. Holy nice! Dude. So that one this morning was really purple and green and yeah. this, this guy's so different. This one's like a moan. Boy, you were going to walk past that, He's right? just tucked in here. I spotted it way before you said it. But... You should have yelled out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> pull it out. Wait there. Turn it over. Yeah. It's a big boy. So crab for dinner. Yep. Crab for lunch, crab for dinner. Crumpy boots are going on. Yep. Are you going in, are you? Yeah, put them in the bag. Yeah, put them in the bag. Yeah. Whoa. It's full of water. So cone shells out here and... You see, what about stonefish? Probably. I don't know if it's been on out here, but I'm not going to say no. There'll be mud crab in here too. Hey, what do you want to do? Hey! What's that? What's that? Oh, that's a sand crab! Get it out! Oh, go yeah. closer. Just go closer and get it. That's the biggest one I've seen. Get him, Nathan. Us, ah. us. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we're going to see. I think I hit him a bit hard. That's alright. All good. Look at them fucking nippers. Holy! Did you step on that? I stabbed it. Your buddy scared me. Every time I say something, something pops up. I just touched it. This is a mad day. I've never gotten a sandy out of here. Holy! Seen small ones. That's a decent sized one. Yeah. Them girls like that sand crab. I'm fussy. Like It's too small. That's a good one. Do it, Nathan. Yeah, beautiful. I thought he was going to get me. I didn't know he was going to get in. I, did, I thought it was a muddy for sure after that. And then I like, yeah, oh, I thought shit, it was a, a, a muddy crab. too. Way up, but until I saw the colour, it was a sand crab. Oh, nice. Nice. Cleaning up. See, this is, I always tell kids, but come on, let's go shopping. <laughs> you even got your shopping <laughs> bag. Shopping. <laughs> I was too busy looking out for the stonefish we just spoke about. <laughs> we like the whole ocean, right? Yeah. And then... Sometimes the flooding are just right in your path, you know? Yeah. And it's like, what? So cool. <laughs> there really is an abundance over here, which is what's blowing me away. The city's right there. Yeah. And you guys have all this on your doorstep. Oh, Jaden's missing oh, out. Oh, this is funny as. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm Oh, I'll go over there. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I was over there and away. I stepped on a mug crab. Um, so here, you stay in along the water right. and I'll walk up. Just be careful where you're walking. Yeah. There might be some more candies. Just you guys can go with Nikki. She's going to have all the action. Hold it that way. Like a deadly. That's so quampy. That's what we're looking for today. Oh, we just got another muddy. Mad pellets. Mad, mad. Just trying to get some more pompies. It's a pompy shell, then our pearl shell. Where's your money? Where's your back? Lucky you didn't wear shoes, you would have missed it. See? 
These are meant to go out there. What'd you get? I got a few quampies yeah. and other shells that I want to make necklace out of. Oh, the muddy. Deadly. Nice. Yeah, that is still weird. Three crabs and some quampies. So this seems like your kind of happy place, Yeah. walking with a spear. Yeah, even if I don't come out, like, even if I come out, sorry, and don't get anything, Yeah. I've gotten something out of it still, like I've gotten, like, you know, that mental health healing, Yeah. where I've come out, um, for example, <laughs> this one day I was like real angry, just trying to process or accept shit, um, I walked from here all the way to my life, didn't get anything, loved it. <laughs> come back just lighter you know yeah um so it's very healing which is like like meditation in a way but also that connection to country yeah. this is my medicine. and that's yeah. what i was thinking too like you got your bush your bush medicine like that medicine from the dugon yeah that's all you like your internal medicines right so and i look at this as like this is my physical medicine like it's out here yeah. fixing me um, and if I combine the two, I become more balanced. Yeah. Um, and then maintaining that, it's a whole cycle of your life, so it's still fun. It's nice, eh? Hey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Things are amazing. They are so good. Some kind of guava. Got the same meat in it, but it's real dark, so. Not as good. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. can eat it it's so weird, they're so long. And then there's a, there's a third shell that we, there's a shell here, but I couldn't it's find any up there. So that's not one of those, cleaned up? No, that's smaller, that's that other. Here you go. Here you go. Should we just beat him in the head that way? He's under there, here. Are you right? No. Chuck him in the sink and do it. Oh, sorry. You can just chop these on the fire. Yeah, Maya, come here. Can you move this, the cutlery then? Move it. Oh, I'm gonna move it. Oh, I'll split it in half. Just eat that. Yeah, I'll just put it on the fire and cook it in that juice. Yeah. But you just don't eat that hair there. Okay. But it's best when you open it to scrape, like, up under so you get this bit on there too. Mom, is this what the sand crab looks like? Shoulder. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's nice, eh? I've never seen one. Baba, go get that necklace out of the room there. And, um, well, unfortunately, Jaden didn't get to join us uh, this afternoon for our walk. Um, he's, I think his freezer broke and he was trying to save all his, all his food. So he didn't get to come for that walk, but um, I'm sure you're going to meet him another time. He's such a legend. You all saw, saw him in the last episode, um, jumping on the turtle. So he'll be back. I really like Jaden. Um, and I want to do this bush, bush tucker kind of cook up, you know, especially with the bunion nut. But we just got back. We got three good crabs. Uh, Nikki got some quampy, so I'm going to try that tonight for the first time. I might show you guys a bit of that when I cook it up on the fire. I'm going to send the drone out now over these flats because they're just beautiful. And I'm sure from above it's going to be stunning. So I'll fly that now, and then I think we're going to go for a drive up the road and see if we can get as high as we can on um, the top of Minjeriba and hopefully we can see out right over there towards Brisbane and I'll send the drone up from up there as well and hopefully get a good outlook. You do know where we are? Yes. Yeah. Good spot? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's it's not, not really a drive. big walk. Shall I bring the drone? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right, do you want to take camera? Yeah. 
It's probably not on, but you just have to hit that top button. Yeah. Yeah, I've walked Oh, you're coming too? Coming for a walk? What do you got? Oh, uh, clouds. Or are they ears? I got this one. Can I seafood that you can go hunting for, swimming places and it's such a good environment and we're trying to keep it the best environment that we can. So yeah and Strati is a wonderful place to go swimming and it's a wonderful place to go hunting and you can just do so much over here that it's, that's what makes it Strati unique. Good morning guys, that's another late night last night so I'm sorry I stopped filming I got back to camp here in the dark again and um, just had dinner and went to bed but I got the quambi here that Nikki got yesterday ah, that Nikki got yesterday so and I've just started a fire over here so we'll cook that up for brekkie have a quick swim quick wash here in the lagoon first now I don't know if I've showed you, you guys this place uh, in this episode you have to jump back to the last episode but this is Mark's camp and um, the whole family's been out here for years, so they come out and use this as their camp. But now he also um, allows people to, like group camps, to come out here and camp out here. So you guys can camp here too. Look at this beautiful lagoon behind me. And then uh, it's like a three, four minute walk down through the sand dunes to the beach. I'll show you guys now with the drone, but the stunning ocean is right there. Um, east coast of Australia, crystal clear blue water, dolphins, stingray, all sorts of stuff out there. It's beautiful surf, fishing, uh, yuguri, um, all sorts of stuff. So beautiful spot and you guys can come here too. And then you got this awesome lagoon here to swim in. All right, while these, while these quambi cook, uh, yeah, they just got covered in ash. <coughs> Quambi or Quampi? I can't remember. Nikki might have to comment and let us all know. Comment below, Nikki. Is it Quambi or Quampi? I think it was Quambi. Anyway, while Brecky cooks, I'm having Quambi and I'm having some of these uh, midgen berries for breakfast. While that cooks and this one here cools down, we're going to wrap up the episode. Uh, wrap up this series here. I'm in Jerabah. It's been it's been amazing. It's been such an eye-opener. Like I said at the end of the last episode, you know, to be here right in front of Queensland's capital city, Brisbane, and um, so close, you can literally see it and be hunting the way we're hunting here. And, um, and just to see this culture still so alive, still so rich. 
is really inspiring, it's beautiful. So what I want to say is if you're coming across here to Minjerabar, a few things. One is interact with the locals, interact with the local tribes here, head down to um, near Myora, uh, it is Myora, go to Myora Springs um, and, and just sit and talk with the locals. They'll, they'll probably be down there swimming in the creek, the kids will be jumping in the creek, having a good time and just sit with the locals and have a chat, ask some stories about their, their life, their history. Um, they're all more than happy to talk. They're such amazing people and it will change your experience that you, that you have over here on Minjerba. Um, if you can, try and get out on country with, with someone. Um, you know, seek someone like Mark out, and which is Strady Adventures. For, so let's, Strady Adventures, you can come and camp here at Mark's camp. You can uh, do four drive tours. He'll take you around the island, um, take you to a lot of the sacred sites, the lakes, Blue Lake, Brown Lake. You know, you can go and chase Flathead like I did in the boat. He used to do the kayak tours, but they're on hold at the moment because of that crocodile. But he used to do kayak tours on the west coast. But he'll take you out in the boat and give you a cultural experience. What else do they do? Sandboarding, all sorts of stuff. Nikki will take you out in the mud flats like we did yesterday afternoon and look for mud crab and um, tell you some stories. They're such an amazing family. So if you get the opportunity to do, to do that, I highly recommend it. Strady Adventures, look them up on Instagram. We might go find Nikki soon and find out what their website's called and what's the best way to contact them. And I'll put a link in the description below as well. Amazing people, I can't say that enough. But the other thing is just be respectful. If you're coming over here and you're gonna stay in a nice holiday house and you know go out to dinner each night, lay on the beach in the sun, that's great. I'm all for that, you know? Everyone needs a break from whatever you're doing over there on the mainland. But the first stage is just to, in your mind, just to be respectful of, of, of the Aboriginal tribes that are here now, the people that are here now, but also the past, also the elders, also the the old people who their spirits are still on this land and just just have that in your mind. You know, if you're going to go to um, um, Blue Lake, which we didn't get to this trip, but I'll talk about that in a sec. If you're going to go to Blue Lake, that was the sacred men's site, okay? It, it's also a place where Mark was saying where if the, if you have a spirit hanging onto you or like a, you know, like a, uh, a, a, a one of the old people, an, an old spirit who for some reason is clinging to, to say Mark, he can go to that lake get in the lake and just drift and it will allow that spirit to go back to the dreaming or back to wherever it came from. So it's a very sacred site. And then Brown Lake, Brown Lake is a sacred women's site. Um, so it's just women's business. I think it was a birthing place. So men aren't meant to go there. Now I think that's pretty relaxed these days, but still, if you are gonna go there, just be respectful. Just, just have that in your mind because I'm pretty sure the old people can sense that. They can sense if you're a good person and you're going there with with, for the right reasons and, and, and you are respectful. So there's, there's a lot of places around the island like that and, and just have it in your mind, just be respectful. That's all I ask. Um, come over here and have a good time because it's such a beautiful island. And getting back to those lakes, I didn't get there this trip. There is so much to see on this island that I, I didn't get there and I want to do these sacred sites properly. So we'll come back and we'll, we'll head out there with, with an elder, um, with someone with the knowledge like Mark and, and we'll hear some true stories about that place. I could go there, fly the drone and talk about it myself, but uh, that's not right. You know, I want, I want you guys to hear the stories from the right people. So we'll do that, we'll get there. What a magical journey this was. Thank you so much to Mark and Nikki and the whole family for not just taking me in, but also taking all of you in, all, all, my, all the followers, all the, all the viewers and, uh, and showing us this country here because it's, it's amazing. So thank you so much for that experience. Can't wait to come back and see you all. Thank you to the kids, you're all so much fun. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap. If you want your merch, wildreaches.com uh, forward slash shop hat. Uh, what else we got? Stubby coolers, stickers, shirts, singlets, all that stuff. And if you want to join our community, patreon.com forward slash wildreaches. There's so much cool stuff on there. I won't get into it, but that really helps. That money from there really helps me get out and and have a good time. No, get out, pay for fuel, pay for everything to get out here on country and film and make this content. So for all of you that are on there, I really, really appreciate you. All right, out. Actually, you want to see me eat this compy, don't you? Okay, I'll try and set you guys up. Yeah. All right, compy. Nikki said don't eat this hairy bit, so we'll chuck that back in. Oh yeah, that's that's the grassy bit too. It's not real big. Oh yeah, it's salty though. Oh, they're delicious. And actually, it's a lot like a yugurin, a pippi. Delicious. I just want it to be bigger. That's why I love the mud shell because they're so big. It's a mouthful. Anyway, this is going to be real hot, so I'm not going to let you 
make you stick around and watch that. But midgen berries too. How yeah, awesome. Alright guys, see you next week. Hope you enjoy this video because it's gonna be really cool. Make sure you get make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Okay. So, and you can get some merch from Wild Reaches. I got some at my house, but